So if you want to learn how to destroy actors inside of your scene, you guys have come to the right place. As you guys can see, I have three AR gun actors set up inside of my scene. If I go ahead and I walk over these actors, you'll notice that my character will destroy this actor object and it will play an audio sound. So this is super easy to do. So let's go ahead and jump right into the code. All right. So the first thing you guys are going to be doing, you guys are actually going to be going over to your content browser. You're going to right click. We're going to go over to blueprint class and then we're going to go ahead and create a brand new actor. An actor is a object that can be placed or spawned to the world for me i'm not going to be creating a new actor because i already have one set up so if we go ahead and go over to my actor that i have set up which is my gun ar actor as you guys can see inside of my gun ar actor i have a default scene rule and then i also have a skeleton mesh which is basically just getting a reference to this gun ar that i have now the next thing we're going to be doing we're actually going to be going down to collision on our skeleton mesh and what you guys want to click on you guys want to click on generate overlap events if you don't have this click this is not going to work all right so once you guys go ahead and do that the next thing we're going to be doing we're going to be going over to our event graph now inside of our event graph we have a node called actor begin overlap now what an actor begin overlap is is an event when this actor overlaps another actor for example a player walking into a trigger for events when objects have a blocking collision for example a player hitting a wall see hit events note components on both this and other actors must have generated overlaps events set to true to generate overlap events so remember that you always have to make sure that no matter if it's on your character or if it's on any object that you're trying to sit there and call actor begin overlap you need to have generate overlap events set to true now in order to get this node we just type in event actor begin overlaps and as you guys can see we have event actor begin overlaps right here go ahead and click on that so the next thing we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be getting a reference to our third person character. So I'm going to be casting to our third person character. In order to do that, you just sit there and you right click and just type in cast to third person character. And you go ahead and click on this or you just call whatever class that you have set up. And then what the next thing you want to do is you want to take this other actor right here. You want to drag it over to object. And then what we're going to be doing from here, we're just going to be dragging off this. And then we're going to call destroy actor. Now, what destroy actor does, it basically allows the actor to be destroyed once something happens. There are multiple different ways of how destroy actor works. For this reference that I have right here, as you guys can see, if event begin overlap cap the third person character, this just means when my character walks into the collision of this actor, it will actually destroy this actor right here. And then I just have over here, I have a spawn sound location. Don't worry about this. This is just for audio purposes. You can add this to your game if you want to, but you don't have to. So that's basically how event begin overlap works and also destroy actor works. Now there's another way to sit there and get this to work. So let's say for example, if we go down to event tick, and as you guys can see right here, if I drag off this little node right here, with this is just the code to sit there and make my gun rotate every like frame per second. If I go out and I type in delay, and then we're gonna have a delay of 0 0.2 0 0.2 seconds. If I drag off here and I type in destroy actor. You guys will notice I go ahead and I compile this code and I go ahead and hit play. Both my actors destroy instantly, so we're just going to put it up to 0 0.5. If I go ahead and compile this code, you guys will notice after 0 0.5 seconds, the actor ends up destroyed. So that's how destroy actor works. Now, you guys also can be able to sit there and call destroy actor off a of key press, but it has to be done directly on your third person character. Now, we're going to go over to my third person character. As you guys can see, if I go down to my capsule collision component, and if I go down to collision, I have generate overlaps events set to true. And then if I over here, I have a key press which is set to one called destroy actor. So if I go ahead and play the game and I press on the one key, you guys will notice it will destroy my character. Now, this is basically how destroy actors work inside of Unreal Edge. Now, I hope I explained everything thoroughly. If you guys are running into any issues, let me know down below in the comment sections. And make sure you guys like the video as well as subscribe to for Ghost of Entertainment while your notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one.